All right, and so so while we're getting started here and stuff, um, right here, this is another shirt from Creative Apparel. He is uh, one of the official clothing companies um, that I that I'm working with now. Um, he's a buddy I work with. Uh, Creative Apparel is his brand. Um, he does gamer shirts. He's got regular logos and stuff like that, like you can see behind me. His first line of stuff was Icarus. And then next we have the Creative Apparel logo, which I wore for the unboxing. And today I'm wearing this uh, Demon Slayer one, which is super comfy. I love all these shirts, like the material. Oh, just comfy the wear, comfy the wear all the time. That's what I'm going to start doing too, is like behind me. Eventually I'm going to get better lighting set up for this too, but I'm going to start hanging them all. So that they're kind of like my backdrop there. But like I said, if you're here, if you're checking these out and you like these shirts that I have on and hanging behind me, drop Brandon or me a message. I can get a hold of him for you and you're always free to message him. Um, and you can also find him on Instagram at Creative Apparel. And um, get in touch about getting some shirts. Like I said, I love them all. But we're hitting seven, so we're going to get into this. So some people that are looking through or grazing through just don't see me idling at a little little screen here. So welcome to tonight's stream, everybody. We're back again, still rocking Extra Life. So if you're able to bless some children, you can donate. Voxelvoice.com slash donate. And all the information to do is right through there. If you do it during streams, it's going to pop up a notification. You'll be marked down at the bottom and we thank you so much justin welcome back welcome back buddy um i was just getting it all getting it all started for you guys we are live here on twitch facebook live youtube my twitch voxel twitch everywhere um we're doing this and uh see what kind of stuff we can get rolling so let's um let's dive in i've had some more time with this thing i have a little bit different setup than we rocked last time because we were just uh pushing the screen um to the stream and that's kind of how i was watching and doing everything and now we've got a little 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 better thing so i'm gonna grab the camera quick move you guys hopefully i can get it far enough to see but um here we go we got that we got it here now. Set up like this. And Justin, thank you always for the stars. We got this. The The deck is down here. I'm going to turn on the light real quick. The full light. So you guys can see that a little better. But we're rocking down there. We now just got a little, like, this is just a little thing guy. It's USB. Everything I got was USB, so it can be super portable. Don't got to worry about batteries. Um, we got a Razer Death Adder mouse. Um, this is just the regular one. I do rock the version 2 as my regular desktop mouse. And then, back in behind here, we've got that fucking wiring mess going on into the dock with everything. And back here is actually the LAN cable for when I need that for downloading games. And then right there, like I said, we got this weird splitter junk going to actually do... Stream. So let's let's get you guys hooked back in back up there. It's like an episode of Clover. It's like a Cloverfield thing going on right now. Sorry about that. Ugh. It looks like we've got you lined back up. Pretty, pretty good. I should work there. We're doing pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. All right. Um, so let's fire something up. I do got, um, I am using the, um, let's turn this on, the Astro C40 uh, Tournament Ready controller with this. I had revisited this computer because previously I had a bunch of problems with it. Um, they have updated the firmware. I have switched parts on it as far as the thumbsticks and stuff go and i'm having a lot better time with it around i've actually been using it quite a bit on the uh playstation 5 as my second controller because i do have two of the dual sense but um it's been acting up a bit 
so like I said, we're gonna let's start with Darksiders Genesis. Let's let's load in here and see what we got going on. Um right now too, let's check what I've got. I think I've got everything locked for uh under performance. For a refresh rate of 60 and then a frame limit of 30. So we'll mess with that some too, because you know we'll talk about all that good stuff. So let's um Let's dive in here. Yeah, so it wants to use the gamepad. But we're going to use the controller for it. It automatically um, recognized that I had clicked the controller input for what I wanted to use. So we're uh, launching into the game now. One thing I had noticed is the, the starting launch sometimes takes like a minute or two. But I also haven't started this game up yet. I probably should have done that. I did, like, like I said, I've done a bunch with the Final Fantasy XIII. Um, I've popped into a bunch with, um, what is it? Uh, Baldur's Gate, I got in there, I created my character and all. But I think this, this stream too, we're going to really look at that performance. So, while that's loading up, let's actually... We'll leave it at three. We'll take a look. We'll take a look at a bit, a bit normal, a more uh, information than normal, but not like the end end of that. Let's see if I can hear too. Uh, it might not get any sound for me. Um, you guys should be getting sound, no? Oh no, I did. Oh, but I'm hearing myself. Why am I hearing myself? No, that's muted. Okay, cool. You got some. For some reason, it's letting me hear my mic as well. Look who it is. Hopefully you guys aren't getting, you're not getting any of that, like, reverb from me, are right? You know who I am? Yeah. I met your sister once. She was a lot bigger than you. <laughs> but not as pretty. <laughs> what do you want, little horse man? <clears throat> Malgros to the okay, that's cool. I'll just For I'll just deal with it. I'm not sure why it could be like the monitoring or something, but we're still recording too, so that's pretty good. Council, I hereby sentence you to death. <laughs> okay. so we're locked in with that 30 frames a second right now. Everything's looking pretty good, sounding pretty good. Threaten me. Just walking out of here. It, it does sound funny hearing you say it. I'm gonna count to three. If you're still standing here, I'm gonna defile your corpse in ways you can't possibly imagine. Feed what's left to my boys. Horse meets their favorites. One, two, three. I mean, I could probably set it lower, I just, um... I can lock that in, too. I just really didn't mess with it, and it's been kind of fine. Oh, I think because it only came down the... Oop. Oh. Oop, oh, oop. Oh. oh, yeah, because whenever, um... That's why. That would be why. When you drop it lower, it dropped it down to 30 frames. So I guess, like, the way... Okay, so that's gonna annoy me. So I'm not gonna listen to the sounds of the game at all. Um... So the way that was working, it, um... As you've seen, it dropped us down to, like, 20 frames as what I could set it at. So that's probably gonna be something I have to tinker a little bit more. Um, I know a lot of the times people are saying, like, lock stuff at 40 and 40. But, uh, 
I think 30 frames has been enough for some stuff. Um, well, let's let's get into here and see how some gameplay looks and all. Like I said too, now I'm not going to be like looking straight up like this. It's going to kind of be to the side here. Alright, let's see what kind of stuff we got. What we got going on here. Oh, not that way. Oh, shit. Never mind. I think when we last played... Uh, nope, I died. I think now we want to come this way. Because I think the last time I was on this, we did a bunch of platforming. the game sound for you guys. Alright, we're gonna shoot and do some things like that. So like I said, we're, hold we're holding that uh, 30 frames a second right there. Looks like it's actually a reading just a little bit. More. Feels like deja vu. Certainly knows how to make an impression. How much you think those big old lab towers cost? I, like I think I still really hate like the camera lock and position of this. Why not ask the Lord? But um Maybe I can grow used to it. Maybe like playing like when I'm playing in handheld might not be as bad. Mysterious objects. Oh yeah, the climbing was a fucking bitch last time. It was it was that part too. But it's really just like the, the camera, the the, ca the locked camera angles are what get me. Okay, there we go. We did some we did some character switching, but as we can see, like yeah, it's holding pretty steady there at uh that 30 frames. I kind of want to get into a little bit more action here. Let's see. So we can like bump it up and see what it does as well. Nope, nope. Fuck. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, but in Diablo, I can rotate it all the way around. Like, I can't... Like, that's... This is it. If I wanted to, like, completely spin and look this way, I could. Or if I want to spin in that way... There's, there's a difference. Nope. Here's, here's gonna be the end of the stream, is me just fucking falling off and dying like 30 times. Uh, uh, is there another way to go? Oh, wait. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Nope, 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 fuck. 
Well, guys, this is, this is gonna be the end of this. This is where I get stuck. Oh shit. Oh, there we go. I didn't know you could get on the horse. What? Look, Abby, ever consider wearing some lighter gear? Destroy it all! Alright, let's grab this shit. Let's be like. There we go. Oh, summoning spoon. I don't want to do any of that. No! 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 There we go. Let's let's try to make it up here and then I'll switch refresh rates and we will we'll take a look. Alright, let's try can we go over this way? No, because we're gonna fucking have to go that way. The game's gonna make everything difficult on me. Oh here's some guys. Mysterious. Okay, cool. We can come back this way. I wonder if there's going to be a ladder over this way. Eventually on here too, I do want to get Final Fantasy XIV put on, but because I have it not through Steam, uh, I've got to configure files a little bit more than the Steam version of the game. Alright, so since we're getting into stuff, let's do... Let's, let's hop switch this and... We're gonna turn it off that and leave it at a refresh. So we're up around like 50 right now. 49, 50. Not hitting it. Okay, we're jumping up to the... 62, 61. See, like, I wish I could, like, turn and see, like, what's that way or whatnot. Um, I feel like if I jump down here, we're gonna, like, just... Yep, yep, that's what I thought. That is just a dead end, so it's gonna be back the other way. It's really responsive using the controller and everything. Like, I don't feel any input lag or anything. Besides my just shitty playing skills. Yeah, that could be. That could be it too. Like I said, I really like for me, if they had unlocked the camera angle, it would fix most of my problems with it. come out of this though because we want to we want to bump in and look at some of the other stuff this is just going to be me being annoyed the entire thing
anyway, so we saw, like, we were up there. We were at, like, 50, between 50 and 58 frames steadily. I don't think we really dropped below that. We locked in at the 30 frames, and that was pretty good. Um, so what we're actually going to bump into now <laughs> is we're going to hop into Final Fantasy. Since I know, Justin, you're still here and you wanted to see this, but this is my modded version of Final Fantasy 13. So I have... All characters have their, like, HD models. The only character that doesn't have one is Snow. All the cutscenes I have are redone 1080p Ultra HD um, cutscenes. Um, originally, this game was only like 35 to 40 gigs. And now the game is sitting at like 145 gigs. So that's like how much those videos and stuff put in there. So we can actually take a look at that. Uh, I think it's under local files. Okay, so never mind. It's 57. Uh -huh. I have a feeling some stuff didn't move over then. I'll have to look at that. I'll have to double check that then. Um, well, let's sit back here. And we're gonna... Something might not have copied over right when I was doing it. Let's Let's take a look real quick. We're just gonna... Give me a second here, because I want to compare it to... Because what I did was, I set up a little, like, shortcut to cheat. Is to set up all your mods on the PC. Save it to a drive. And then import it over like that. Um, boop. Let's take a look here and see what this says. Properties. Local files. 57. Okay, so maybe it's not as bad as I thought. Um, but like I said, I took the game from like 35 gigs up to that 56 gigs with all the videos and stuff. So I think once, I think prior to it, like actually setting everything up and all, that's what was going on. But, uh, oh, we definitely want this to recognize the controller before we go in there. Um, we'll leave this all uncapped for a second while that's loading. I'll be... Uh, let me let this load up real quick. And I'm going to grab a tissue. All right. Oh, God. There we go. I'm back. Sorry about that. All right. So right now with this, with the intro video, we're locked in there. Um, but you can already see like the quality of these videos. Um, because like I said before, they were all capped at like 720. I think 720 at 30 frames were what the original videos ran. But um, I'm going to let this play just a little bit. And then uh, let's let's hop into the game. The one thing I do know that you're going to see because there's um it's part partly the mods I did and partly some issues going on in the beta version of Steam where there's some game stuttering happening. Like you'll kind of see it as I go in, it'll like stutter a little bit. Um, I'll point out when it happens, but that's a known address. Like, they've already put, like, one update in the beta about it. But, um, the upcoming 3.4 update for Steam's OS is going to have a major overhaul and update to the Linux system that runs everything as well. So it's going to be, like, kind of like a firmware update for your system. It's going to update the drivers. It's going to upgrade the upgrade the core kernel and stuff like that. So we're going to see some nice performance boosts there with things. So like I said, the one cool thing with this is we're going to be able to come back and forth and check out some stuff. 
I think the other reason that it's it's stuttering too is this is uh, Final Fantasy is running off Vulcan and not DirectX. DirectX seems to be working a little bit better, um, which you'll notice too. Like when we go into Baldur's Gate, if I go into the Vulcan version of it, it just it's all over the place and looks like crap. But if I'm playing in a DirectX version of it, it was playing playing pretty good. But like I said, I'll leave this I'll leave this up at the uncapped since you know we're plugged in and everything for a bit. But you see we're around like 40, 50 frames a second. Um, that was kind of a problem with the game across the board on the PC version. It was like kind of like a little bit of unstable performance regardless. Um, so I think we just got a little battle here. See there is that little little Better right there. We're gonna do some shifting around. We do war and peace here. We'll just, we'll kind of have some fun with this. But um, as you can see, like we're up at like 50, 51 frames a second right now. We dropped down to 40. Like we had these little dips and then spikes up, but it's looking like really good. I wish that um, I could be running with the custom shaders on this, but it's like a key command you have to enter all the time, and um, not sure how that would work with like especially on the go having to, like pull up the thing and then trying to pull off the key command um so i'm just not running in the shader i'm just like i said running the the hd models and whatnot we got this so we're gonna come back Is this where? we're gonna get we're gonna get in some more battles here Hopefully my controller doesn't die too. There's there's a possibility that might happen as well. We had a little preemptive attack right there. So that was nice. My bad. I accidentally. I bumped it. Hopefully, we can get up to where we get to like a cutscene or something. Because I would like to see that. I've actually haven't. I haven't encountered a cutscene yet. Um, with the new ones installed. Which I'm not sure if we'll actually, if we'll get to or not, but see, there's that little stuttering I was talking about. I'm not sure if it's a problem with the, the modding that I did, um, or if it's an actual problem still with uh, what's going on in the beta versions of SteamOS. Um, I just like being in the beta version because some stuff works a little bit better in there, but there is still those hiccups and stuff, so... Oh shit. I can't stop now. Well that was fun. I died. Oops. Let's try this again, but you can see like if you look up there, the frames do like jump around like crazy. But so I don't get one shot at again. Let's roll with some some healing here. 
Nope. Keep on going a little bit more, yeah. Like I said, we'll probably run this for... I don't know. I'll do like another 10 minutes of this. over here. Stop going after him. Why are you yelling at me, controller? Are you dying? Are you starting to die on me? That could be it too. But I'll be back, because if the, if the controller dies, what I can do is quick throw it on the charger while we check out Boulder's Gate, and then I'll come back to check out, um... I did want to sneak attack, but... Yeah, see, we just get that, like, huge frame dip right there. Oh, that's gonna suck. Casting. I love the battle system of this one so much, I just not far enough in to where stuff is fast enough yet. There we go. Maybe we're getting into some cutscene stuff. I'm gonna put on the headset. Can we get through this way, you think? You know where you're going, right? I've been here on missions before. Missions? Nothing to do with the purge, though. The Purge is Psycom's baby. Our military is split into two arms. The Public Security and Intelligence Command, known as Psycom, 
and the Guardian Corps. I was Guardian Corps, Votum Security Regiment. Dude, yeah, it's been a long time since Wait, I played that. That's why it was kind of nice going back to it. Like, I love the battle system of it. It's just, when Lightning Returns came out, I just never got to play it. Um, just wasn't at a point that I got to. Okay, so here we now we have that this pop-up to the future day stuff. It does. Um, we're at 60 frames a second. Like I said before, it was only 720p at like 30 frames. Follow instructions and stay in your lines. Personal belongings will be returned upon arrival. GC do here. This op's under Psychom direction. So direct me. Let me on. I want to be purged. Uh, only Sivs get purged. Sanctum staff and soldiers are exempt. Huh? Then I quit. Uh, line up! Excuse me. Hey, lady. What gives? I volunteered. Really? <laughs> you don't look ready to go quiet into that good night. You want quiet? You better take the next train. That's that's holding really solid through this. There's a little cutscene part here. Let's see what you're up to. I had to rescue Sarah before they transported the vestige to Pulse, and out of my reach. CPU 24%, GPU 30, 30% there, so, not, not really a taxing load on it, like, so, uh, handling it, uh, pretty well, I believe, um, this has been, it's an impressive little piece of hardware here, um, and the crazy part is too, like, with the, even the hooked up to like the monitor, like I do with the mouse and keyboard, we got people asking like, why do people have it hooked up like that? Well, it's it's a portable computer too. You can go into that desktop mode. We can do all sorts of stuff and with Dolphin the File Explorer, you can access your Steam games through there and do all your modding and whatnot as well. She left me. So we always got like that crazy drop right there. Like especially during like the black screens too, like huge drops in frames on this game. But it's also in part like due to this game, like this thing's got 16 gigs of RAM in it. Um, I do have the mod on this game to where this game should be able to utilize up to four gigs of RAM versus like the, the two that it could before. To kind of try to help with some performance as well. Uh, can't keep up with this girl. Uh, we got some more rolls and stuff, and cool. We found another save spot, so we're gonna save here, and um, we're gonna pop in and check out some more stuff. Cause like I said, the controller's about to die, and I do want to show off some. Uh, I had the Xbox Cloud set up with a game pass and i want to be able to show that a little bit um so we're gonna we save there let's exit here i'm gonna turn this off quick and put it on the charger So we got that charging over there. Um, we, will, we will revisit using that. So I'm going to switch over now to using like my mouse and keyboard setup. 
I do like use the controls on the screen too because it makes it really easy to go between stuff. Um, but now we're gonna now we're gonna pop into something super taxing. I've been playing this like locked at the the using the sixty refresh rate with the thirty frames. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna bump in here. We're gonna leave it uncapped and uh, let's see what it does. See what kind of um, tax it puts onto the system here. Oh, let's see some real quick. Let's actually play and load into there. Okay, so this is what I was talking about here right now is Vulcan's the default for this, but you want to be playing in DirectX 11. And we're going to run a pop in here. We always get that little air and then give it a second and it'll, it'll load up here. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna really see what this kind of puts as a attacks onto the system once we get loaded in there and uh, playing a little bit. I am back in the beginning because um I haven't played in quite a while and they've done quite a bit of updates and changing of system, changing of save system and stuff like that to the game. So uh, as of right now, my saves that I had on here weren't up to date. So I just restarted, made a new character. We'll see what happens. But this is definitely a series that, like, once it comes out into its full release, I'm going to definitely revisit and see and do, like, a little series on as well. Alright, cool. Like I said, we're mouse, we're mouse and keyboarding that. And, um, we'll see, we'll see what we get in here and see what, what kind of it does here. Like I said, if we notice that it starts getting, like, real, real chuggy... I will, I'll drop down the settings for us real quick. Because right, even now you can see we're running around 24, 25. GPU has pumped really up there, like. Very well. Ooh, look at that that GPU load is huge but let's let's see if we can get up into action and see what's uh Devil kid. am I in the hills I'm not gonna mess too much with some of the stuff in there we're just gonna go like look at all this going on but look at that GPU usage up there like we're at 99% right now uh, temperatures are spiking like I can feel that putting off some it's putting off some heat up there, and look, we're even now down below at that. So since I don't want to, like, destroy my things, we're trying to do this. We're going gonna to drop that down. Uh, we can actually... We're going to turn on FSR. So the SFR sharpness kind of sharpens stuff to make it look a little bit uh, better when you do drop settings, and this helps saves with like uh, working on battery life too. So we're gonna we're gonna run this in FSR. We dropped it down to 30 frames, um, and we're still not even hitting the the 30 frames, but it's looking good. Uh, Jump. There we go. 
Like that's still like really huge. Actually, let's take let's take a look at some games uh, settings. We might be able to resume save session. Here we go. Uh, video. Oops. So we are at that 60 hertz. So we're matching close to the monitor, because the monitor is 1280 by 800. We can turn on a frame rate. Ah, uh, cat. That's 10. 34. Overall quality. We were on high. Let's drop this down to medium. And we're going to apply. And see, even though, let's see what auto detect. See, auto detect says that this system can run it on high. Um, but we're gonna drop down to medium because we were on high and we're just gonna see like what kind of an improvement we got here. So now we're we're getting a little bit closer to the 30. The GPU load dropped a little bit. So this is still still quite a taxing game on the system. We're going into some cutscene action here. And like you said, it's still in early access here. Oh, Ryan, if you're still around too, it looks like it is still recording. Um, I switched it from the TS file back to the MP4. Um, so that seems to be a little bit, a little bit better on OBS side. I switched over. I'm an, I'm an OBSer now. We're gonna skip most of this because we know, we, we, we know the story. We just want to get into some more combat and stuff. Um, we're getting closer to 30 frames right now because not much is going on. Um, 50% load on the CPU, still a little bit high up on the GPU. But the game's still looking good. Like, uh, you can see a little bit of... Okay, so we're gonna get in the combat. Blah, 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 blah. I think I know how to play. Uh, what are we gonna use? To use. Okay, cool. I could do that. These guys are going to attack here. Uh. Nice, nice little uh, little attack there. Uh not enough movement. We're gonna we're gonna end turn. We're gonna get attacked by this guy. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna get my movement to here. Cool, cool, we hit him here. Oh, that was awesome. That was a really good hit, too. Um, I'll take that, figures he's gonna come down this way when I was trying to make her go the other way. Uh, Taking position. Let's do this, then. Okay, she's out of movement. Alright, I was able to... I was able to hit it from there. That wasn't too bad. Like I said, I'm not playing this like 
as seriously as I would because this is more just like showcasing what this little system can do. Like I said, still, still definitely putting off some heat. Like, this is putting some. some tax on the system still. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. Now, to the helm. Okay, cool, so we're gonna switch characters like that. Okay. Let's keep walking over this way. I think I want to go this. I would like to switch back to myself, please. Thank you. All right, we're gonna pop into here to some more cutscene action, and that, that GPU just just spikes up there still. on fire that's 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 not the best uh, I probably didn't even need to come over here so oh <laughs> I went down uh, um. but yeah so um, I'm gonna pop out of this just because it is quite as you can see it's pushing those temperatures up there um, the game can handle some nice looking games and higher end games. Um, I know a lot of people are having a lot of luck with like Cyberpunk 2077, uh, modding that on there, and then some other newer games and whatnot that have come out. Um, there is a group on Facebook called Pixel Deck, and they've been going around finding um, the best settings for every game. And they've done um, a phenomenal job of getting the information out there and getting settings out. They actually, um, that's what helped me with some State of Decay stuff, which actually will pop in there next. Um, I can keyboard and mouse that, so let's, um, whoop. We're gonna use this. We're gonna, we're gonna pop out of there, so, um, we're gonna pop in them, check out some State of Decay. So, cause they've done a bunch of updates to the game, so it's been pretty nice. Um, so we'll... We'll check out a little bit in there, and then I'll come back, and the controller should be charged enough to where we can come in and check out some of the cloud gaming. Um, we'll pop in there and check out some uh, Halo from that. But let's... Yeah, we're gonna use we're gonna use keyboard and mouse. It was it was saying for like sticks and all that, but it'll be alright. Oh, that was bright. I've been I've been blinded. But um, so what are you guys thinking about this so far? So for you that have popped around between um, both my first showcase, which was the unboxing, unveiling, uh, initial startup, showing off. We did Cuphead for that because that was a real quick uh, download and whatnot. Um, what are your thoughts and views on the system? Are you just looking to get one, check one out, or, or whatnot? Definitely, um, let me know. We're just gonna... We're gonna pop here, in here, continue to walk around and try to, try to kill some zombies. Look, right now, like, our, well, we're in a loading screen right now, so we'll see what happens when we load it in. I was playing this a little bit on handheld, and it was pretty nice. Ah. Uh, but it, it does, it does eat at the battery, so getting highly advised 
to get a nice uh, portable battery. So we're gonna we're gonna hop in here. So we got the lock in, so we're locked at 30 frames per second, but like I said, that load's still pretty big because it's a pretty like it's a pretty graphical game. So let's go through and uh we're gonna go kill some zombies for a minute, eh? We got some no oh, we got in the car. Like I said, I'm going to re be restarting most of the stuff anyway when I come back to do actual playthroughs of this. But, um... I just kind of show this off a little bit here. Um, there's one with the red eyes. We'll, we'll attack these guys. It's night, so it's so hard to see. Yeah, we're in, we're in plague territory. Alright, we got we got some more zombros over here. Let's take these guys on. And uh, this one uh, performance it's performed pretty shit. That probably wasn't the best of choice. To... Down to my last one. No more of that. I'm gonna bandage up a little here. Um, but as you guys can see, like this is playing pretty damn good. And there's always room, like, I haven't done much tweaking with it, but there's... I don't have a mouse pad over here, so it's being retarded. Um, there's always room to go in and tweak the settings and fine-tune your experience to what you want. Um, my goal for fine-tuning most of these games is checking out and getting, like, the best battery life I can possibly get after it. Because, for me, this is gonna be nice just to, like unwind at the end of the day, lay down in bed for a bit, and then pass out plans. Some of these. But it, it's always nice too to sometimes to like, max it out and see what this thing can do. It's also a good way to like, show off people that are like, new to PC gaming as well. Or who might not be into it. I can be like, oh yeah, let me show you this game, where this game's running on here. And instead of lugging a whole freaking computer over, you can just... Plug your, your your Steam Deck. Like I throw it in its case. I can grab a couple small peripherals with it. Have a little bag set up for it. And you're you're solid. Like I said, I'm not worried about picking stuff up. This is just gonna be kind of like we're running around. We're seeing how it does. I'll be ass deep in Zeds. Right now we're locked in at that 30 frames a second. It seems to be holding that pretty good. Actually doing a little bit better than we did in Baldur's Gate. But um, I'm hoping since that's still in early access and it might see some Steam users use, um, that they can get some more optimization in for that. Um, especially since we should be coming up on the, the official launch of that soon. But like I said too, like this was this was another good. I felt was another good one to come in to um, because they've been doing a lot of work to this game, changing it up, changing how it was from the beginning, which wasn't a bad game at all. Um, but they definitely added stuff to it, added more maps. Uh, the graphics have been updated on it like twice, so it's looking pretty good. So like I said, my my output's being split, so I have it to my little 15-inch monitor that were. That I'm looking over here playing on, and then you guys are getting it right there on um, stream as well through the Elgato. Um, let's let's keep going a little more here. Oh yeah, I probably. Need I'm wearing this guy out. Let's see if we can make it back. 
Yep, sorry, it's gonna do like weird shit like that because my desk is not liking my mouse. Uh... Cool. Oh, there's a bit of it. Can I get, can I just get in the bed? Oh, no, that's just like, that was a little cut thing. So this is just like a little, little random outpost area. Yeah, let's be in a with that. So then there's a game, you know, another game, pretty good in graphics. Um, We're holding a solid, we were holding that solid 30 frames a second, still have a little bit of load on the CPU. Um, but it's, it's playing pretty good. Um, something that I am uh, impressed with. So we're going to grab the controller, which should have enough charge for, um, say cloud error, blah, 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 blah. Still some stuff to configure. So, um, what we had to do for cloud gaming. So the way cloud gaming works right now is in desktop mode, I have downloaded Microsoft Edge. And then ran a custom command in console, which is like Linux's version of your DOS prompt and stuff like that. Um, we run a couple of custom commands to make it think that it's a game, that it needs controller support. So we force controller support on Microsoft Edge. And then we come in and we add Microsoft Edge as a non-Steam game. And then we modify this. We modify this here to take us, which I don't want to mess with the settings and all because it was a little bit of a pain to do, but we have it set to take us right to the website. So I'm going to grab the controller, which was charging a couple minutes. We should have enough to show this a little bit off. All right, so we got we got the controller back and we're connected. So we're gonna we're gonna launch into here now. Oh, and then with this too, we are actually going to come into performance. We're gonna go back to linear. And we're going to turn that off because technically we're in a web browser. So here we are. Um, see if thieves, all this we can access through the cloud gaming. Uh, Recon, Elite Dangerous, um, Arc, all this stuff. But um, we're going to... Okay, so it's going to be like blah, 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 unsupported. So since we're doing this, I'm actually going to plug in the network. And what I'm going to do is unplug the keyboard. So give me one second here. I just want to make sure I'm unplugging the right thing. So it's this finger cord. So I think it's this one. Yep. We are plugged in, but what I do want to do quick then is settings, internet. We're going to turn off the Wi-Fi so that we're just in. So we're going to click back. We're going to continue anyway because we just 
we just plug that in, so there there should be no reason for for us to have um any problems with the internet. We're just waiting for Okay. So that's definitely... Huh, we're having a, we're having a slight... Okay, so let's re on let's, let's re... We're gonna exit, confirm. And we're going to come back into there since we're having a little bit of a... An issue there. Okay, so it read, because that's, that's what I clicked with. Okay, so Halo wants to be retarded, so we're gonna we're gonna try something else. Oh, there we go. Let me just load into campaign. Let me see if I get loaded in there. Let's see what happens with this. But like I said, playing like this, hardly taxing on the system. I am going to have to take a look at the settings though, because... Controller, not working. Uh, but if I hold the Steam Deck... We are working, so this is going to be this is going to be a little bit weird. We'll see how this runs. Like I said, frames and stuff. Let's see what we got going on here. So this would be like if I was playing it holding the deck, because for some reason it doesn't want to read the controller, even though it said it did. So. But one thing I know that needed to be done was kind of kept reading in the settings. So don't, don't mind me for like leaning in and looking weird right now. I'm trying to hold the game and the Steam Deck in the deck. And then play this through. So that was one unfortunate thing. So we ran into that. That uh, that wasn't working. It looks like I gotta figure out what's going on with the the internet thing while it's reading that kind of weird. But um, 
look, not even playing it through like this, not even taxing on the system. As long as you got a nice stable internet connection, you can roll through. Some cloud games there. And then you can set up the PlayStation one as well, too. But like I said, I'd, I'd play awful because that's a very awful way to hold this and the, the sensitivity and all definitely needs to be configured for this versus like how the controller would feel. And versus, you know, playing it at, on a keyboard and mouse is completely... Oh yeah, because now we got that so we can like... But yeah. Hop over in there. Oh, there we go. I died. But, um, yeah. So, cloud gaming works really well in it, especially if you're in handheld mode, as we found out. Controller, um, acting up a little bit. Um, I'll have to see if I can configure some more commands for that to try to get a, um, it to read the controller, um, that's there. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, so it's it, it's not too bad. It's been playing stuff fairly well. Um, going through doing some tweaking is definitely going to be a must for some games. Um, and like I said, a lot of that stuff you can go in. There is a full desktop mode. You can go in. You can check that out. You can tweak stuff too. So like we were in there earlier. So you just come down here. You come to power. And you can go, boom, switch to desktop mode. Oh yeah, we gotta exit out the game first. Sorry, it doesn't like to... Let's exit out of there. It likes to let you know, like, it does a pretty good job of like, Hey, you're in a game, dude. Like, what are you, what are you trying to do? So we're gonna pop. Switch this. And then we're gonna go right into desktop mode. I don't have the keyboard plugged in right now, so we'll have the, we'll have mouse here. Um... That's gonna pop in. There you go. So like it showed there like, hey, we have this. I could remote play with a desktop if I wanted to. So discover right here. This is where you can go in to update your apps, install new ones um, for what you need. Like I said, I finally got Lutris on there. I'm gonna start messing in with all that kind of stuff. Um, and then you can use it as like a full little desktop. Like you need to go into like get your applications. Do you need to go into Edge? You want You can launch the games from here as well too. Um, and then you can return. You can return there. Like I said, you can open up Edge here. Um, I don't have the keyboard plugged in, but then you can go right to all that there. So you can use it as a little computer on the go if you need to as well. Um, one of the things I found is that it was kind of, um, oops, it was a bit hard to use when you're, um, you have to configure in your, uh, touchpads a little bit using the keyboard. Um, it's something to get used to, but it's not bad and it's not a breaking experience. Um, so there you guys go. Um, we took a look at a couple different games here with Final Fantasy, State of Decay, Halo through Xbox, uh, Cloud Gaming um we looked at darksiders genesis um we did some taxing games not so taxing games and the system handles it pretty well like i said final fantasy was modded with a bunch of hd stuff and that that gives me usually i got a solid like five hour battery life from full charge on that um when playing through so that's not bad at all um but again i'd like to thank you all for joining me and sticking out um this was like our little part two of that so we could show some more like gameplay and performance and look at like how all that's doing um i'll definitely be back once i get stuff more fine-tuned and doing some stuff maybe we'll look at some like rom setup or um whatnot in different games coming out on it and as more games uh get added and added we'll definitely check that out 
um because uh, a lot of games are starting to update their anti-cheat systems too to be supported on linux so like i know apex legends was one of the big battle royales that's you know that's working right away now on that which is good because then hopefully like i have pubg on steam so i could grab that and hop on as well um i want to check out like stuff like that and see how that performs because it'd be kind of fun to play with that especially with like some touchscreen integrations that like on let me gear 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 like this okay kill 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 you know it could be fun um but yeah so we'll be back um i will be back tuesday at some point during the day um with saints row we'll be diving in there and check that i've got my boss made already we'll get it imported and we'll start that game out together it's been a while since we actually started a game together um so we'll take a look at the beginning of that and see what kind of crazy nonsense we get into um after that later on in the week i'll be back because i did start playing uh tower of fantasy we'll check a little bit of that out i've kind of been enjoying it it's kind of like you can go at your pace the game's kind of generous with pools and what it's giving you um so it was a bunch of fun and um as always please make sure if you can to check out the donation at voxelvoice.com slash donate uh for extra life and we're you know we're trying to hit our goal we're going to be doing a different one we want to try to do a different one like each month and see what we can do um help the kiddos out um but again thank you guys for joining um i'll see you guys all in chat hit me up with questions in there if you have any questions and you know as always feel free to you know you know reach out with like hey do you know about this or this and i'll do my best to answer the questions that i can for you and as soon as i see them i might not always see them right away but i do try to make sure to check through and look for stuff like that um so thank you guys and i'll be back later <laughs>